joined now by Sandy from Activision, who of course worked on Bloodstone, the new James Bond game. Sandy, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I am fantastic. I am so thrilled to see a new James Bond game. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's been a big deal for us as well. And uh, without the, you know, with no film coming out on the horizon, it kind of gives us the opportunity to to really get the players a brand new James Bond adventure. Uh, but the cool thing is they actually get to play it as opposed to just sitting and watching it. So uh, it's it's been really good fun working on it. Yeah. Now, of course, uh, Daniel Craig is the most recent iteration of Bond, and he comes back into this game. Yeah. How was it working with him to get his likeness to for this new Bond game and to get him an original Bond script? Yeah, so it was, it was really important for us to be as, like, as authentic a James Bond experience as we possibly could. So I, we got Daniel Craig in there as James Bond doing the, the voice and the likeness, as he said, but we've also got um, Judy Dench in there as M. Uh, we've got her likeness, her voice. We've got Joss Stone, who plays the Bond girl, girl in this game. Um, she also does the theme song. We've even gone a layer further. We got like the costume designer designing the costumes. We got um, Bruce Firestein, who's a, a Bond writer. He wrote Goldeneye, The World Is Not, Not Enough, Tomorrow Never Dies. So it's all, and you know, we got Ben Cook, who did uh, the stunt, he was stunt double for Daniel Craig in the films, and he's done all the motion capture for the game. So basically, it all comes layering in to be this really true, true to life, authentic uh, James Bond experience, which is pretty cool for us. Now, you talked about the experience, but tell us about about the plot. What exactly does Bloodstone revolve around? Okay, uh, well, it's kind of an adventure for the player, so I don't want to ruin it too much, but basically what's happened is uh, a British bioweapons scientist has gone missing, and um, James Bond has been sent to try and find out what's happened. Has he defected? Has he been kidnapped? You don't know. So basically, you travel to Istanbul, and the spot kind of spins on from there, and it's, it's a you know, we looked at what the films do, and it's a truly international, globe-trotting adventure. You, know, you go to Burma, you go to Monaco, uh, Istanbul, uh, all over the world, pretty much Siberia, and it's it's about um, unraveling this whole network of criminals as James Bond. Very cool. Now, another great thing about Bond has always, of course, been his weapons and his gadgets. Yeah. I'm sure he'll have his classic PP7. Yeah, yeah. But will we will we see possibly I don't know a Moonraker laser somehow sneak in there? Um, well, we looked at what Daniel Craig's Bond brings to the, you know, the, the title, the license. Um, and so the outlandish weapons don't really seem to fit too much, but we have given you the player a lot of choice over the weapons that they use. So, uh, you know, you've got the pistol, uh, submachine guns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, sh shotguns, everything you'd expect. But we don't forget that Bond's greatest weapon is his mind. So we also let the player choose how they're going to engage with the enemy. Um, and we do that by the only gadget we've got in the game, which is the smartphone. And what that does it is it brings up like an augmented reality layer over, over the screen. And it lets the player see where the enemies are, what state they're in, if they're aware of Bond's presence, what guns they got, or any other special things in the environment. And so the player can have a look at that for a little bit and try and work out what to do. Is it going to be best to sort of run in shooting, or maybe it's going to be best to sort of stealth around a little bit and uh, build up your focus aim, which is a system that ties in the hand-to-hand combat and the shooting and it basically means every time you take someone down hand to hand you get a focus aim token and that kind of it's like the, the equivalent of the beginning of the film where he sort of turns to the camera and shoots it'll like instantly lock onto an enemy and uh, provide a one-shot kill and you can chain up to three of those together so instantly you get all these little strategies is it, is it better to sneak around a little bit get your focus aims and then you can clean out the rest or is it best to kind of run in take down one guy use the focus aim straight away and carry on from there but yeah I mean player choice was a big thing for us it, it was the player being Daniel Craig's James Bond, so we provide the tools, but it's up to them how they want to tickle the, tackle the situation. Very cool. Now, of course, another great thing about Bond is the Aston Martin, yeah. all his cars. Yeah. Are there any kind of driving levels in this game, or do we see him, you know, doing some, you know, screeching around some corners? Absolutely, yeah. That was one of the things that's really important to us. Bizarre Creations are kind of known for their driving games in the past. We worked on, most recently, Blur, uh, Project Gotham Racing, Metropolis Street Racer, all the way back, Formula One games, I think. And um, so that was one of our core pillars. We didn't just want to shoehorn it in. It's been in development along, alongside the whole game, is to have these amazing driving sessions. And as you say, we wanted to do the quintessential things, which is like an Aston Martin DBS tearing through the Istanbul streets. But we also wanted to, to give the players something they maybe wouldn't expect to have a James Bond game. So we've got like boat chases in there, we've got, uh, you know, driving some vehicles that you might not expect James Bond to, to have to use. But the key for him is, is that he never gives up. If things go wrong for James Bond, he'll just make use of whatever's to hand and he'll keep on doing it and keep on going until his mission's complete. 
Now, another another awesome thing, I mean, the James Bond series is just so awesome, so all these different awesome aspects of it, but one of the classic things that everybody remembers, uh, that's from all the way back in the N64 days, of course, is the multiplayer. Yeah, okay. what, what kind of a multiplayer does Bloodstone have? Okay, so we've got 16-player online multiplayer, and um, it's basically uh, team-based, so it's uh, team deathmatch or um, last man standing, but the, the, the core of it is this objective mode, uh, which is like MI6 versus mercenaries, uh, and they'll basically be the mercenaries who got an objective to do, like to try and blow something up, and MI6 have to work together to try and stop them. Or you can play as, a, yeah, you can play as a mercenaries and try and get past MI6. So it's, it's really deep, it's really um, tactical and strategic, but also, you know, it's, it's explosive fun. Very cool. Now, the, the ultimate question that everybody out there is wondering, what systems and when can we see it come out? Okay, so we're shipping on Xbox 360, PS3 and PC, and it's shipping November 5th. Fantastic. Sandy, thank you very much for your time, man. No worries. Thank you. Cheers.